Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch for you. So this is for a palette. It's not new out, but it's new to me. It is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick Palette. So it's got 14 best-selling creams and mattes and it comes with a brush. So what I really love about this palette is just the selection of colors. They're really sort of wearable colors, but also they've got some kind of more loud colors. So Smashbox actually teamed up with, I'm sorry if I say this wrong, Anna Strumpf for this palette. And she's done all the sort of the cool decor, which is these like really cool lipsticky patterns. The palette comes with these cute little stickers as well, Smashbox and to and from if you were to gift this to someone. So that's really cute. And the palette design itself is so unique. Here it is. I'll just show you when you move it, these little images here move and the whole palette looks like it's moving. So it's a really, really funky design. So you've got the color names here on the side of the box. Hopefully it picks up on camera. The names of these colors across the bottom will say matte. So you've got a cream row and a matte row. And what I really like about this is they kind of go from your really wearable nudes, then you add a bit more color, add a bit more color, and they start to sort of gray out. So obviously you'll see them better if I just open this up. Um, hopefully you'll see it comes with a mirror and a full size brush, which I'm just gonna tip out so I don't drop. Um, it's typical kind of Smashbox red. It's Smashbox number six and it just says lip brush on the back. And you can see it's a nice, nice lip brush style. These colors here are your sort of everyday wearable nudie pinks and um, you've got kind of like your more pinky a pinky red more orangey red true red and then you've kind of got these two really bright colors this bright purple and this bright pink and then you kind of got the more dulled um deeper colors and then you've got this uh kind of ready brown and a gray so you've got a really nice selection there whatever look you're going for and also they'll be really easy to mix because of the, the way they're in the palette and um, so you can grey down some of these brighter colours if you wanted to but what I wanted to do today is just basically swatch them all so I could see what all the colours look like. Like I said before this top row is supposed to be cream, this bottom row is supposed to be mattes. Um, this is going to go in my kit so I'm not going to dip straight in with the brush, I'm going to um, pick up the colours. Um, but the lip palette I already have in, in my kit is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip kit. And so the reason I decided to get another one, I just wanted a bit more of a range um, of everyday colors, which I think you've got a bit more in here, but just to expand my color selection, I absolutely love palettes more than carrying around like your traditional lipstick bullets or liquid lips. Um, I also think when you're mixing them from these pans, it's so much easier to put, mix a little bit extra and then make up a touch up pot for your client to take away with them. So I'm just gonna pick out each, a little bit of each of these colors for me to apply so I'm not dipping straight into the palette and I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but it's always really scary when you kind of dip into a brand new palette. So the fact that I've just kind of semi destroyed every single one of these pans for the point of this video, I hope you appreciate this. Um, so all I've done, I've got one of these um, sort of spatulas, um, used the pointed end just to scrape out a little bit of product. And this is how I'd apply it to clients as well, just scrape the smallest amount out. I've placed them on this palette. I'm gonna use the brush that it came with as well, just to see how this applies. I'm gonna use the mirror in here. So I'm gonna go in firstly with Famous, which is this shade here. So this is famous. It's quite sheer, but it's got a really gorgeous peachy tone to it. And it's nice and glossy. It's got that really smooth, creamy feel to it. It's very comfortable to wear. So the next shade is Primrose. I do really like that sort of shine it has as a finish. But again, this is sort of like an everyday nude, really easy wearing, and I love that it's not matte. Okay, so next up is Pink Petal. So this is Pink Petal. This is really vibrant. I really like this. What a gorgeous, brightening pink. I think that's really pretty. And you know, the formula is so easy to put on. It definitely feels like it's got a gloss mixed in with the formula, which is gonna save me a lot of product and a lot of time because I always add glosses to my lipsticks if I don't want that matte finish. And I really, really like this. Okay, so next up is Mandarin. Please excuse the really rough application I'm doing at the moment. I'm just throwing them on just so you can see the color. This is so pretty. This is my kind of red. I love an orange based red. I think it looks real natural. Okay, next up is Tabloid. Okay, so this is Tabloid. This is really loud. This is a real sort of fuchsia pink 
purple. It's a lot more pinky looking on the lips than it is in the pan. You don't need a lip liner for this to stand out. But if you really want to get the true color in the pan, I feel like you might need a liner. Okay, next is Fig. Okay, so this is Fig. I'd maybe say out of all of them so far, this is probably one of the most pigmented. Um, it's this color here. It's kind of like a maroony, sort of browny, purpley color. <laughs> it's really poor description, I know. Okay, so now onto the last shade from the cream side. This is called Coffee Run. Okay, with these darker colors, you can really start to see A, the smudgy outline of my lips from all the different colors I put on, and B, how poor my application is at the moment. That being said, this color is really bold. On me, it's probably not something I'd wear very often. It's quite, it looks quite vampy on me, but on a really deep skinned person, this would be gorgeous. Again, I can't get over just how pigmented and comfortable these are. I love, I love how creamy it is, I love how comfortable it is, I love how just natural and comfortable it feels on my lip. The brush as well I'm really enjoying, um, because of its shape it's quite flat, you're able to get that really fine line. Okay, so we're now moving on to the matte row, and let's go with the first colour which is Mauve Matte. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised at how comfortable this is to wear. This is quite, this is a similar sort of formula to the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte. It's really, really creamy. It's not matte, matte. Um, it's definitely got less of a shine to it, but it's so comfortable, it's so creamy. I'm really, really pleased with this. Oh, I love this color. Very gorgeous color. This is, this is something I would wear. Okay, next up is First Time Matte. Okay, so I'm noticing particularly more with these nude colors, the mattes are a little bit more pigmented. Not that the uh, creams weren't pigmented. This is another gorgeous color. I can see this being very, very popular. So this is first time. I think this is stunning. Okay, next is Fireball. Okay, so if I don't know if you could tell from the application there, but a little goes a really long way. I will just show you my pan super pigmented this is gorgeous this is kind of like a it looks more orange than it does red on the lips it probably wouldn't be an everyday wear for me but it's definitely a really nice color okay so next up bing okay so kind of as expected in a in a positive way with this it's a true red it's a really great pigment it's a really sort of classic red look um, if you applied it neatly with a liner, unlike how I've done, um, you'd have a really stunning red lip. Okay, so next up, we have Talk To Me. Holy moly, she's bright. Okay, this is cute. I had slightly less of this on my pan, so it's maybe not as pigmented. I didn't use as much as the others, but there's still real bright pigment. Um, it's very pretty. It's actually more wearable than I thought it would be by looking in here. Um, it's not as highlighter pink, um, but it is very bright, it's a very bold pink. Okay, next up is Femme Fatale. So this is a really cute, deep purple color. I really like it. Um, again, I think it looks maybe a bit darker and bolder in the pan, but it's really actually really nice and wearable. This is more of a winter color for me, but I would definitely wear it. Okay, final color is called Punked. Okay, so because of all the lines of all the other colors on my skin, this looks really terrible right now. And again, it's probably not a color that I would actually wear, but this is a really, really opaque kind of gray silver. It looks almost like it's got a little bit of sort of mauve in it, but I wonder if there was some of this color still on my brush. It's not something I would wear. However, it is, it's got a nice formula, it's got a nice finish, um, and you could easily use this to gray down some of the other shades in the palette. So this seems a good a place as any to finish the video with this kind of crazy gray color on my lips. But having tried all of them on, I'm actually really, really impressed with the formula. They've all got great pigment. These mattes are more of a demi matte than a matte matte, which makes them very comfortable, very creamy to wear. This top row is very similar formula, but it almost feels like it's got a gloss in it. So 
has that slight more tackiness than creaminess, but it's no way sticky. All very comfortable to wear. I love, love the finish. I'm really happy with this palette. I think it's gonna be a great addition to my kit. Plus, it's really fun to look at the packaging, which is always a bonus. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did like this video, you can always give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And why would you want to? Hopefully, I will see you next time. Bye.